all those bulbs are hooked up. And we got the inverter charging the batteries. Okay. When it turns on, when it gets to 150 volts, the inverter will kick on and it will add a load up to whatever the batteries want to draw. What is it, ballpark? Like four or 500 watts or something? Uh, it's about 500 watts at that speed, but okay. we're going to be drawing a lot more power than yeah. these are all made for 120 volts. Yeah. And our volts are going to be a lot higher than that. So uh -huh. this is going to drag this is going to drag the generator down a lot. Like, okay. Maximum. Well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So how many watts of bulbs? Series, then the bulbs yeah. get up a little yeah. higher, and then we can get more watts. So in parallel, what what is uh, how many watts is that? Parallel, it's uh, <coughs> one thousand. It's three thousand two hundred watts. Of bulbs. Of bulbs. Okay, so they probably won't light very bright. At these speeds, I don't think yep. we can even get close to power in that. Yeah, so they'll be if we're dim. Faster, we definitely could power yeah. that. So they'll be dim. Well, we might as well try it out since, you know, yeah. why waste why waste the heat? Right. Pressure are we up there because that's still smoking out of that PSI gauge. It's uh, 50 PSI. 50, so since that steam, it's going to hit like 70 or something, 60. Okay, what temperature? So it's going to jump up and then it's going to drop a bunch of steam and the pressure is going to drop. Because it's going to go through the turbine and it's not up to speed, so it's going to leak a lot of heat right straight into that condenser, and then the temp pressure is going to drop and it won't overspeed the turbine because it's got such a big load on it. That's the theory. With the temperature keep getting high, how long is it going to keep getting high? It hasn't even plugged in anymore, and it it just keeps. It's just homogenizing. Yeah. It's lower down there and higher up there. Yeah. One thing you could do to, to mix it is put a pop on the outlet up there or go on the bottom of the inlet and it would just mix the Yeah. Water. We could do that really easily and then we would have a, a balanced temperature. Yeah. And this low at the bottom high at the top. It's almost 60 psi, so it's. I think it's going to be okay because of that load. You think so? Mm -hmm. And if it's if, if it's not, what's the worst case scenario? <clears throat> well, they would have to burn out the wires. Because how else could it? How come we can't? It can't, it can't overcome this load. How come we can't cool this thing down? We've been doing all this stuff. We can. We, we can. We just we just have to stop the turbine from over speeding. We can dump as much heat in the condenser as we want. That condensers can dump. Well, keeping it at keeping it at low speed. Generate with, with the light bulbs on there. It shouldn't it shouldn't be able to go fast fast because this load is way too many ohms for, for yeah. the voltage that that's supposed to get at a higher that that will get at a higher RPM. Okay, so if that s sticks open, but we. And the low, the lights will just get bright, and then it won't turn off. Or it, and how many watts? Just steam, and then it will turn off. How many watts of bulbs is that? Uh, Three thousand two hundred watts. So we're at thirty-seven hundred watts for charging the bank battery bank too. Yeah, the battery bank. is the max so I don't see load that we're set up to. With that much load on it, and it didn't overspeed without that load on it already. I try to. What does that meat thermometer say? The what? What does that meat thermometer say? It's going down. It went down about, since I got here, about five degrees. That's not much. That's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so we need a dump. There's a massive amount of heat right there. We need a, we need to power some shit. Or some stuff. Okay, so... <clears throat> so you feel comfortable kicking it on? Well, yeah, I think it already kicked on or just bled out a little bit of steam slowly. Yeah. But you're just going to th feather it. I mean, well... I'm just going to go... <laughs> and then let it wait a minute. Okay. So... Okay. 
I don't know ultimately what's going to happen. I, I don't know ultimately what's going to happen, but no matter what, this is, this is for you, Paul. We're just having fun. <laughs> Show him before. All right. Are you ready? He would have been proud. Oh, well, he already was. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pressure went up to 80. That, that quick? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's accelerating right now. I don't know. I think this is good enough for the temperatures we're supposed to be running at. This is not what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to produce a boiler. <laughs> well, what's the speed right now with just uh, the blow by? It's only 64. 3,600 RPM? Uh, Still recording. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> That's freaking awesome! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Is that about 70% bright at the peak? 70% of what? Are those bulbs about 70% bright at, at the peak? Like? Yeah, probably. Maybe 70? So 7 times 3, 21, 24 plus 7, it's almost 3,000 watts. Yeah. Yeah. 70% plus 500 watts. We're about, we're almost 3,000 watts and we're just yeah. screwing around. With the 500 well, watt load on the... Yeah. So total, it's almost 3,000 watts. Yeah. And it's what, what, what's your freaking... Uh, the speed, we're only going up to 14,000 still. It's just adding more load. <laughs> so imagine at 35,000 how much power you can get out of this thing. <laughs> That's with this generator too. <laughs> Let's put it down. 